Now in this lesson we start by doing some addition up to seven digits. An example, we're asked to evaluate 1,738,463 plus 5,190,874. Well the first thing, we'll bring some working out space. We're going to rewrite these numbers, okay, well spaced out. Okay, we're making sure that each of the digits are in the right columns underneath each other. So let's just start firstly with the ones. So we're adding 3 plus 4, that gives us 7. Moving on to our next column, which is the tens, but I'm not going to focus too much on that. We're just going to worry about the digits. So 6 plus 7 is 13. So put your 3 down and carry the 1. The next column, 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 8 is 13. So we put our 3 down, carry the 1. The next one we've got 1 plus 8 is 9 and 0 stays as 9. 3 plus 9 is 12. So for 12 we put the 2 down, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 1 more makes 9. Finally 1 plus 5 is 6. So there we have it. There's our answer there. Let's write that down. Making some spacing so it's easy number to read. And that number, of course, 6,929,337. Excellent. Let's move on to do some subtraction up to seven digits. A couple of examples. The first one, evaluate 8,429,374 minus... 2,982,756. Well again, let's bring in some working space and let's rewrite these numbers, okay, very carefully, underneath each other the digits. Now, this time subtraction, don't forget. So we have 4 minus 6. Okay, it's a tough one to do, so we will need to look at the 4 there. We're going to borrow the 1. And we're trading against the 7. Now remember when we trade, we cross that 7 out, take 1 away, make it a 6. So then we have 14 minus 6, which is 8. Our next column, 6 minus 5 is 1. The next time we have 3 minus 7, again, a bit tough. So let's look at the 3. We're going to borrow the 1 there, and we're trading against the 9. So cross the 9 out, make it an 8. So we have 13 minus 7, which is 6. We have 8 minus 2, which is also 6. 2 minus 8, we're going to struggle with. So let's go looking at the 2. Put the 1 down, and we're trading it against the 4. Cross it out, make it a 3. 12 minus 8 is 4. This one here is interesting. 3 minus 9, well again, a little bit tough. So let's look at that 3. We'll need to put a 1 in front of that to make it 13. We're trading it against that 8, so that trades down to 7. So then we have 13 minus 9, which is 4, and 7 minus 2 is 5. So let's write our answer there. Again, make sure we space it out. So we get 5,446,618. Terrific. Now this next one here, evaluate 1 million minus 742,825. Well, a bit of working out space. Now I deliberately chose a question with lots of zeros because a lot of people have major problems with them. I'm going to show you a very simple technique. So let's put our 1 million down. We're subtracting that number. Let's write that down. And here we go. 0 minus 5. Okay, we can't do that. So let's look at the 0. We borrow the 1, and we normally trade it against that next number, but how do we take 1 from 0? Hmm, a bit tough. So we move on. Well, now we've got two zeros, double zero. It doesn't help anymore. Keep on going. Still can't take 1 away from that. Neither from that, nor from that, but can we take 1 away from this? Well, we can. Now think of that number. That is 100,000. That's highlighted. And we're taking 1 away. So that will cross out and become 99,999. Have a bit of a think about that. Now, that's as tough as it gets. It's all easy from now. So we have 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 
is 7. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 9 minus 7 is 2. So our answer there, let's write it out, 257,175. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.